please if you are new to this channel subscribe please subscribe like and share we are asked to find the derivative of y equals to cos x using force principle now what you do is that y changing y will be y plus dy equals to changing cos x x plus dx that's the first thing we make the y the subject of formula the y equals to cos open bracket x plus dx minus y followed by dy equals to cos bracket x plus dx what's y our y is cos x minus cos x we now use the product formula cos this is our a is our b cos a plus b that is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b and cos a minus b i cos a cos b minus sine a sine b after that what do we do we subtract we subtract according to what you see here we subtract we are going to subtract that means i'm going to have if you know if i subtract cos a cos b cos a cos b so eventually it will go it will go it will go but if i say minus times minus a that is plus that is going to give me plus and uh minus sign a sign b plus sign a sign b also it will go it will go but if i had sorry when I use minus there, it will be plus here. Sorry for that. Now, if I subtract, according to what you see here, if I subtract, so definitely this one and this one will go. And minus times plus is minus. So it's going to give me, no, minus time, minus is there. Minus sine A sine B, minus sine A sine B, that is minus 2 sine A sine B. Minus 2 sine A sine B. So we have to notice this. And the next thing now is to do that. We want to get a value for A and want to get a value for B. How do we get a value for A and B? We all know that our A plus B equals to our X plus DX and our B. A minus B equals to X equals to X. So if you add them together, that means if I add them together, A plus B plus A minus B, that will be X plus the X plus X. So what will happen is that plus B comes to minus B. A plus A, that is 2A equals to X plus X, 2X plus the X. We will not get our A, that is all over 2, all over 2, 2 comes to 2. That means our A is going to be equal to X plus the X all over 2. Like in our previous video, if you put these two under this, 2 comes to 2, X, if you put two the under this, that will be the X all over 2. That's our A. Now, want to get the B, how do we get our B? We just subtract it. That means a plus b minus open bracket a minus b. Anytime you are subtracting, you have to put the next thing inside the bracket. Because you know our a plus b is x plus dx minus our a minus b is x. That means a plus b minus a minus x minus plus plus b equals to plus x minus minus x equals to dx. And our minus a comes to plus a. b plus b, that is 2b, equals to dx. That means all over 2, all over 2. That means our b equals to dx, all over 2. Now that I've gotten a and b, I will now substitute it here. My a is x plus dx, all over 2. My b is dx, all over 2. So let me substitute it here. 
not forget our, our sign x plus dx. Sorry, our cos x plus dx minus cos x give us this minus two sine. What's our a? Our a is x plus the x all with two and sine. What's our b? Our b is the x all with two. Now, don't forget that's our equals to dy. So the next thing is that we divide both sides by dx. All over dx. All over dx. And after that, what do we do? That means our dy dx equals to, I told us before we do that, the manic we can say times 2 all over 2 here. It's still the same thing because these two cancel these two. It still remains the same dx. But instead of saying that, if you look at this, now our standard limit, every time we have sign the x all over 2 all over the x all over 2, everything equals to 1. The x all over 2 sign the x all over 2, so we have 1 like that. And that one has actually turned to 1. So that means the y the x equals to so we have this two can cancel this two we have minus sign open bracket x plus the x all over two times one because all this one has turned to one that means the next thing is that our the x tends to z that means the y the x equals to minus sign open bracket x plus because our ds tends to 0, 0 all over 2 times 1. So the next thing now is that but the y, the x is going to give me minus sign bracket x plus 0 divided by that is 0. So forget about times 1, it's still going to be give me the same thing. Y dx equals to x plus the right x minus sine x. So that is the derivative of cos x giving us minus sine x. Please do not forget to subscribe, to like, and share. Thank you.